Hello everyone, my name is Debashish and I welcome you all to this video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how can you use VT Enterprise to do live threat hunting. So what does live threat hunting means? So uh, as I have already explained, VirusTotal Free is a platform where actually anyone can upload any sample on VirusTotal and uh, VirusTotal infrastructure will actually scan those samples with different antivirus and execute those sample in a sandbox environment to get all these behaviors and at the end of the analysis it actually you know gives you the detailed report uh, about you know all the detection and what what all different behavior that was noticed when the virus was when the sample was executed within the sandbox now uh, the virus uh, the virus total intelligence live hunt actually allows you know threat researcher to, um, to to install you know different signature or rule into their account and it will actually you know instantaneously match samples that were you know being uploaded to virus total and if it finds any match with those rules it immediately you know uh, it immediately alerts uh, the rule author uh, who has created the rule it is really helpful if you are looking for any latest uh, threat uh, that you know that that you have a suspicion that that may be you know active in the wild uh, so uh, since i have mentioned about you know writing rules or signature uh, so virus total actually supports yara rule or yara signature so if you are already not familiar with yara i request you to you know uh, read some basic uh, stuffs about writing Yara rule uh, so it will be easier for you to grab uh, the content of this particular uh, video uh, so this is what the official documentation says Yara is a open source tool designed to help malware researcher identify and classify malware samples it makes it possible that to create description for malware families based on textual and binary pattern uh, Yara is multi-platform running on Linux, Windows, Mac OS X uh, it can be used through uh, its command line interface from the Python script or Yara Python extension. Uh, so you can actually you know, write your own Yara rule and install them or you know uh, set it up in your VT enterprise um, environment. Uh, so let's uh, see how to do that. So you'll have to go to this option. You have to go to VT hunting. And after that, you have to click on this. Uh, after that, you have to click on rule sets. So here, uh, as you can see, I have already have a rule in place. So to add a new rule, this is what you have to do. You have to go to uh, this option and select uh, and click on new rule set. Uh, as you can see, it has given you a basic template. And uh, let me quickly explain what all option that you get here. It gives you a daily notification limit, which is you can set to 10, 100, 500, 10,000. And you can set, uh, you can give your email address here where you will be, you know, notified that uh, it has found a match in the wild. And uh, if you have an enterprise account, you can actually share this rule set uh, among uh, other team members. Uh, so now let's have a look at the uh, the default template that you know virus total provides uh, so this is how the usually the template looks like a rule set rules yara template and we have a we have a section called uh, strings and under strings you can see you have we have four sample strings and uh, this is the first string second string third string fourth string and we have a condition uh, tag also here uh, so the string tag will have you know all the pattern that you are looking for in the in the files that are being uploaded so uh, as you can see a is a variable and we are setting this value first string second string third string fourth string and the condition tag actually you know specifies what all condition match you are looking for so in this particular sample we are actually looking for all these conditions to be true in a in any particular sample then only we'll get a notification uh, so which means that any file that is having uh, that is having the first string second string third string and fourth string so then only we'll get an alert uh, so this is actually uh, this is very you know basic rule set so now uh, i'll give you one more example Mm, so I have a sample rule over here uh, as you can see the rule uh, sample name is silent banker and these are some of the metadata that you have to uh, you can you, ha you can provide uh, so this is the rule description uh, as you can see this is just an example and thread level is set to 3 uh, to be very honest I am not really sure what does thread level means so usually I have seen you can use uh, 1 to 5 
uh, what I personally feel since actually you know when you whenever you uh, install uh, this any rule in virus total environment it actually you know uh, starts a job a continuous job that will be you know run for this particular rule so basically I believe uh, this thread level actually decide the aggressiveness of the job you know how often it actually you know uh, look for uh, this uh, signature and uh, this also I have usually seen in wild will, will be set to true uh, so if you have you know more uh, information about these two particular uh, fields uh, please let me know in the comment section I, I would love to know about more about these two fields and after that we have a string section so just like the previous one we have actually you know setting up couple of uh, you know uh, we are defining couple of string that will be will be looking for uh, as you can see a string we have a set of hex bytes and this is how you have to you know uh, set it up you in inside curly bracket you have to you know specify those bytes you know uh, space separated and we have the second uh, stream of hex bytes um, variable b and you have defined in a, when we have de defined it in the same manner and after that we have a string so what you have to notice here that when you are actually defining a string you don't need a curly bracket you need to put it under uh, put it in uh, double quote and uh, let's now focus on that condition tab uh, so basically in this particular signature we are looking for a or b b or c within any file so whenever this signature actually matches you are going to get a get an alert so let's copy it I'll show you how to install this particular so let's copy paste it and I'll set it to 10 this is just a sample and I'll lose and this is how you can actually set a notification okay off or on so I'll just uh, keep it one for some times uh, let's do it I'll just add few random string so that save and close rule set name is required so here is a sample rule save and close so as you can see we have this rule now active uh, so this is how you actually install uh, uh, Yara rule in your VD platform I'll, I'll disable it right now and to be able to delete rules this is the option that you have here at the bin icon so you just click on it delete rule set it will, it will be deleted yeah so that's how you you know install now I'll show you some uh, more advanced uh, rules Yara rule that it supports uh, so here is one more uh, rule example uh, suppose you are looking for any uh, sample or files uh, when they are executed within a sandbox uh, it sent any a sent a request to uh, HTTP request to any particular website or you know uh, any server uh, Yara supports Kuku as well so as you can see this is how you have to do it you have to import Kuku and this is how you know uh, this is how the usual uh, Yara rule looks like rule example 19 and we have the condition here uh, cuckoo.network.http request and when uh, and we are looking for uh, www.google.com and these are the actually escape characters okay we are escaping the dots so uh, when this particular rule is in place uh, this will be actually you know this will create a job or thread and it will be continuously looking for new samples which is actually you know uh, sending requests to uh, www w.google.com upon execution so this is one of the sample rules uh, let's uh, have a look at one more rule uh, so again this particular rule also we are importing cuckoo since we'll be using network cuckoo.network.http request and we are defining a string here and uh, the string has you know few hex bytes and in the condition section what we are looking for we are looking for uh, some string and uh, and it should be sending a HTTP request to someone dot doing evil dot com so then only we are going to get an alert that you know this particular characteristics we have seen in the wild and uh, that um, seen in the sample and uh, that was uh, you know uploaded to virus total and you can immediately go and you know grab that sample and do further analysis uh, so this is uh, the very introductory video about uh, Yara rule uh, there are few uh, there are a lot of other things also you know uh, Mm, that that can be done using uh, virus total yara if you want me to make videos on any specific topic uh, please let me know in the comment section 
Uh, so that's all I wanted to discuss in today's video. I hope you have found this video useful. Uh, so if you like the kind of content I upload uh, to my channel, please consider subscribing to this channel. So thank you for your time. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.